So, talking about advanced for loops, embedded for loops. I just recorded this. For some reason it didn't record, which is heinously annoying. I won't whinge about that too much, but that is the situation. I just recorded this exact whole thing. And it probably was a lot better the first time, but whatever. <clears throat> so this is a for loop, combining for loops, nested for loops, hyper crazy advanced embedded stuff with the range function that you just learned about. And um, a complex thing. Uh, so this is basically like kind of like the Python coded version of the sieve of Eratosthenes, which is this mathematical sieve that allows you to kind of identify prime numbers meticulously with loops. So this starts off as four i in range three to seven. Now remember, this refers to just the integers three, four, five, and six because it's exclusive to the b value a b exclusive to the b value. Then it goes with this nested crazy for loop action, crazy man, for x in range 2 to n. Okay, so now if, then it branches into this if loop, if n modulus x equals, it's a mod operator, modulus operator, is equal 0, then print what is divided by. So basically this is, in other words, this is the checker to see if it's a prime number or not. If it has a remainder of 0 for a value of x, means divisible by something other than itself or one, which means that it is not a prime. In which case it would pr print n equals that number uh, divided by n over that number. So for example, four, four pops in here. Four mod two is going to have a remainder of zero. So then it pops into here and it's four, prints four equals two times 4 divided by 2, which is 2, which is this line code here. What if it's 6? If 6 mod 3, or 6 mod 2, whatever, um, equals 0, which it does, great, then it pops into here, then it prints 6 equals um, the n value 2 times 6 divided by 2, which is 3, so that equals 6 equals 2 times 3, which is that. And what if it's, what is the value of 5? n mod uh, 2, 3, or 4 always has a remainder, so it would never equal a modulus of 0. So it would skip that and pop into this else, which is related to this 4, and print n, or 5, is a prime number yo, the prime number yo, and it does that. And it goes through all that. If you added, if you made this b value 701, it would print out all the primes from 3 to 700. And if it wasn't a prime, what it was about by. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool stuff. Awesome. Python is very elegant and efficient in that way. Awesome. Oh, it's awesome.